Hello everyone, this is Ross with Market Traders Daily and this is today's video analysis for November 1st, 2019. Today we're taking a look at the USD CAD, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar for today's trade analysis. Now before I get into the chart analysis, it's important to recognize the fact that in about 50 minutes or so from the recording of this video, we have US non-farm payrolls popping up at 8.30 a.m. Eastern US time. Could dramatically change everything we're talking about here if there's a significant impact to the US dollar. So keep that in mind if you decide to take any trades in the next 45 minutes or so. Uh, my suggestion would be wait for non-farm payrolls. Anyway, let's start our analysis here on the dollar CAD. Couple of things here first. Uh, the downtrend that we see here highlighted by the red trend line falling from the mid 1.3350 or so level down into 130, 130.50. Uh, that downtrend, measure that with Fibonacci and we find the 0.382 Fibonacci retracement level at 1.3158. Uh, that's about right at current market price, 1.3158 dash blue line just above the green shaded area. So we know that that has potential to impact the market as number one, resistance, and number two, a breakout and continuation to the next FIB level. The 50% retracement of that red trend line sits at the pink zone, the three, uh, 618 of that red trend line sits up here a little closer, just underneath the yellow zone 1.3230 so again we're breaking above or challenging above the 382 at the green shaded area a couple other things about the green zone follow it back to the blue circle you can see it was support 1.3150.40 is that green zone so support 1.3150.40 at the blue circle then you follow it back to the black circle and you can see as the market was rising from a low broke out one two three four days sat down on top of it as support sure did spike down to the blue zone but for the most part sat down on top of the green zone 3150 3140 as support and began its new journey higher so black circle is important when you're looking at our current market price Blue circle is important when you're looking at our current market price because a breakout above there implies that the market's going to potentially run back to the pink, yellow, or higher uh, as the market continues to move in that direction. The opposite is true as well. If it were to get underneath the green zone, the 382 fib, then we would suspect it would go down to the blue zone or lower. So we know what the risk is. If we were to take a buy above the green zone, the risk is it gets underneath the green zone and selling right now is not really the best idea because it's sitting on top of a price floor or support here on the daily time frame let's zoom it in a little bit more there you go and now you can see it a little bit better there it is past two days sitting on top of that green shaded area so once again as long as it's above it i suspect we would more likely look for buy scenarios and only if it gets underneath it would we look for selling scenarios we target back to the 50 percent which happens to be the pink zone also not only is it 50 percent of the red trend line happens to be where the 100 period simple moving average on the daily time frame lives as well acting as another barrier of resistance or a target on the way back higher the risk of course like i said is that market gets under the green zone and heads back down to the blue zone or lower again i don't recommend selling here as it's sitting on top of support I would more likely be looking for the long shot. The risk is a break underneath the green shaded area. Let's want, take a one more trip down to the four hour time frame. Take a look at what's been happening over the past several hours here at the green zone. Just been waffling around. We're waiting for non-farm payrolls, uh, waiting for some more market movement. Again, looking for it to challenge back to the pink shaded area as resistance. Uh, and of course a break of the pink zone, the yellow zone as the next resistance. The risk of course right now again is that it breaks under the green zone for the dollar cat today. From Forex Traders Daily, this has been your daily analysis with Ross Mullins. If you would like to get Ross's analysis on all the currency pairs he's watching and all the trades he takes today, join him in his live trade room by clicking on the link below. Please leave any comments you have about today's video in the comments section below.